Scorpio. <laughs> to me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squat. How's my gang gang doing? Sending you much love, as always. And thank you so much for your love and support for me and the channel to your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for being here. This is a Strictly Scorpio channel. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and hit your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you're looking for a live tarot card reading, you can get one through my hand-picked tarot card readers. There are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And don't forget, Scorpio, you have a $10 off birthday reading waiting for you when it's time for your birthday. Um, also, you can follow me over on Patreon for early access to weekly pick a card and bonus readings for Scorpio in regards to love and VIP chat. Um, the link for Patreon is down below. Also, my Facebook account and my Instagram now, if somebody tries to get a hold of you through WhatsApp or through a fake Instagram account, I don't have another Instagram account. I only have one, and it's Heart Passion Tarot, and it's the one listed below. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to get ripped off, okay, Scorpio? So be careful, all right? Because there's a lot of, I can't believe people are still doing these kind of things these days. Anyways, everything that you need is listed down below, including um, official Scorpio Squad merchandise like the things I say, card down, gang gang, my psychic mafia, my spiritual gangsters, you know, the things I say, right? Okay, so everything that you need is listed down below. Just click on show more. All right, what card are they telling me to start with? They're telling me to start with the Queen of Moon Oracle. And I'm also going to pull out the Whispers of Love as well. I've got four decks in front of me, but I want to take, the Spirit's telling me to take um, and see what comes out of the Whispers of Love deck as well for you. Okay, look. You may have left somebody here that's quite special to you all alone for a moment while you went within to heal you just closed yourself off maybe for some of you you weren't feeling well but I feel you just needed that space to just be alone maybe recuperate maybe get some extra rest okay but I feel while you were in this energy you were also self-reflecting as well trying to heal up whatever that was that was still left that needed healing I feel Scorpio right now you are really focused on building a solid foundation for yourself you are and I'm also feeling here that um, some new path is opening up for you something it may, maybe even you're dreaming about going somewhere else I feel like I'm talking to my masculines here. Okay? Maybe it's my females too. It doesn't matter. No gender specific. There's something though that you need to release in order to bring about a change that needs to come into your life, Scorpio. Okay? Because when you make that change, that's when you're going to actually blossom and be happy. And you're going to feel balanced. Because right now I feel... You're very much in balance, you know what I mean? But your life will be in balance. You've learned how to balance yourself, no matter what's going on, okay? Um, there's something here that I feel you want to enjoy life. You want to find pleasure. You want to share that with somebody special. But you got to get rid of whatever this is that you're holding on to, okay? Could be past hurts. Maybe afraid to fall in love again because you don't want to get hurt, Scorpio. Okay. I feel you are manifesting possibly this queen of abundance, which is pentacles, right? A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn for some of you if you're a masculine. 
Well, maybe this is just your energy. Maybe after you, Spirit's saying, no, Julia, we got another message. Once you dump this emotional baggage you've been carrying, you start really manifesting and bringing what you want into your life. And you pick up this very grounded, <clears throat> abundant energy around you where things just start growing, yeah? And you start feeling more solid. I feel for some of you, you're reading a lot of books or researching a lot of information. Could have to do with spirituality here. Spirit is saying to trust that everything will work out as it should. You got a new beginning coming for you, Scorpio. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Are you ready? I feel this new beginning is waiting for you, right? It's part of your, um, it feels like for some of you, I want to say your life path. A lot of you are incredibly intuitive. You are the high priestess here. Okay? There's a passion inside of you that is um, driving you on this life path. And maybe it's really, for a lot of you, to go against what you know is not right, what you know is not true. Right? like standing in your strength going against those who have ill wishes right out in the world people that are possibly maybe in power right over you I feel here Scorpio you're very much with the light okay and I'm also feeling that they're starting to show you a lot of things. I'm also feeling, uh, Scorpio, that you're incredibly intuitive. But it's time to take off that veil. What else for Scorpio? You're really, right now shining you are beautiful inside and out you're just letting spirit guide you here without really knowing what's going to happen you see how she's got her eyes covered now, male or female now right and she's there and she's just going you know there's no concrete answer. You're just trusting where you're being led. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For today, October the 20th, please give us your clarity and your guidance. For Scorpio, dear angels, tell Scorpio what they need to know. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Let's see what the messages are. I love you, Scorpio. Okay. A time for healing. Remember I was saying, a lot of you, that's what you're doing right now. You are transforming. You've kind of closed off everybody from around you. You're starting to slowly come out of that energy. But you've been healing a lot of stuff. You've gone within deep, I mean, like, to really heal stuff. Situations, people from your past. That kind of stuff, right? Okay. Whatever you're doing with your work is starting to pay off. You're starting to see, like, whatever you're saving is actually accumulating to something now. Right? So that's beautiful. So just keep doing what you're doing. I feel like investments. I feel um, maybe like a, an additional creative project. And you're starting to see the abundance from that. Spirit wants you to show the world the real you. Wow. 
Like, just let loose, Scorpio. Just be you. You know? I feel like you are always afraid, you know, especially everything that you've gone through, you know, to just let loose, let it go, you know, kind of thing. Open up your heart space, right? And let, let love back in, full on, without even worrying about it, right? Okay, let's go, Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio for October the 20th? Control, you see, you always need to be in control. Came upside down. You gotta relinquish control, Scorpio. Okay. You got, you're either sending some messages or you're gonna get some messages. Let's see what this is about. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I feel your intuition is telling you that you're going to receive a message or your intuition is telling you to send a message here or that a message is coming from a friend that actually wants to come together with you now. Somebody may have released a karmic or maybe you needed to do that, Scorpio, in order for you to come together with your person. I feel right now, Scorpio, spiritually, I feel like you need to open up your crown chakra and your third eye chakra, okay? I feel that when you do that, um, you're going to be shown something in your dreams that's going to be very inspiring to you. It may give you an idea of something new that you're supposed to be doing. Or Scorpio, yeah, you're transforming, you're closing out cycles, you're opening new cycles, you're ready. You're at the end. It's time for a new beginning. And as I say that, right? you got a new beginning in front of you. It's a divine feminine that you've been thinking a lot about. And I feel this divine feminine has been patient waiting for you. Okay? There's a lot of things that are hidden here in regards to emotions. I feel like you're going to be taking <clears throat> a leap of faith here. You're ready for a new start. I feel you've been really taking good care of yourself. Um, there's a choice that you're going to be making, Scorpio. Could be about love. Could be about relocation. It could be about anything, really. But you are confronted with a choice here, and you need to trust in the choice that you're about to make. Okay? This is your twin flame. All right? You're currently in separation with them. There could be distance between the two of you, but I see marriage on the horizon for the two of you. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's your destiny. Honestly, discuss your feelings. Okay, somebody's really going to honestly discuss their feelings with you. But trust in the detour. The divine is stepping in here. With this honesty, maybe you've already gotten a proposal of marriage. I feel it forces you but not in a bad way. It forces you to get yourself realigned again, Scorpio. Because you want to. So that you can evolve. Because it's a special connection. It's your twin flame. It's showing it to us for the second time here. With the 1111 card. 
celebration, it's reunion, it's marriage. Again, showing. What other messages, please, for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for today? Could be a brand new relationship, right, for you. Okay, I feel you're really happy right now. You have found your own inner peace, and you know your balance, and you're really happy, and you're healing, and it's just a really beautiful energy that you're in. Okay, you're very passionate right now. You're very spiritual. I feel like you are thinking about possibly traveling to see your emperor or your empress coming for you. Look at that. Divine masculine. Could be a Libra. What other messages? Abundance. Passion. Loyalty. Wow. <laughs> Wisdom. This looks like a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection for you, Scorpio. Just open up and say what you feel. You're both mirroring one another. Okay? Here we go. The Empress. Virgo Gemini energy for you. For my masculines out there. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody who just manifests whatever they want. This person is incredibly creative, um, but they've been heartbroken before, yeah? But there's luck here, and there's manifestation going on. And there will be a lot of passion between the two of you as well. Okay? There's a little bit of nervousness here, okay, about this whole thing, but... Um, I feel the two of you are going to be incredibly grateful to one another for coming into each other's lives. For some of you, if you're fixing it with an ex um, or with a friend, you're both going to be very happy. I call upon the angels. I call upon the divine to give clarity and guidance for Scorpio for October the 20th. A lot of you, this new love coming in for you. Unexpected new love. Yeah, you see, you are in the in-between right now, and that's okay. That's okay with Flamingo Spirit. It's saying, you know, embrace the in-between. You're not quite there yet, you know, but you feel it, right? It's that kind of energy. And shine. Just let yourself shine as Peacock Spirit here, you know. Open up all those beautiful feathers and just shine. Okay, you need to know that spirit's got your back. All right, everything will go as it should. And it's saying use your mind wisely. So don't go, you know, into a dark space, Scorpio. You don't need to. Okay? Maybe you really need to get more focused on work, right? Maybe to help you get out of that energy, all right? And it's time for you to have a beginner's mind, which is basically like the fool, right? Starting all over again. They're telling me to look on the bottom of the deck. Wow, butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. And that's exactly what's happening. You're coming out of that hermit mode kind of space and then look, all these beautiful things appear for you in your life. It's absolutely gorgeous energy. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you again tomorrow, okay? Love and kisses. Bye.